what's up what's good what's going on family so let's jump in and let's just get an energetic check uh, check as it pertains to love okay as i will be releasing this message on venus day so let's just dive in and see what's going on there because this is going to be for your sun moon rising north node venus as well as that ninth house very particular messages here on the Manjula Awakening for your ninth house. But even with that being said, fam, let's just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest, okay? All right, Spirit, what we got going on for my lovely fam? Lee, what's going on in the love life, Spirit? What's the message? Ooh, take a leap of faith. That's the message that's coming out. And at the bottom of the deck, it says, open yourself to others. So I do feel like that you're... Your message of love is trying to get you to um, only when you're willing to step out of your comfort zone, will you le uh, reap great rewards. So I do feel like that spirit has you in this transition phase, you know what I'm saying? Of just like getting out, intermingling, getting to know new energies. That is the thing that is helping you elevate your vibrations. Does that mean that you're going to go out for like, does that mean that for a month straight, Friday and Saturday, you go to the bar, go have a couple of drinks with your homegirl, just go sit out and about or whatever and enjoy the atmosphere. Does that mean that within a month you're going to meet this divine counterpart? No, that does not. But that does mean that you're going to be put in the positions to, to, to meet different kinds of people, to see what it is that you can do to shift your manifestations. How can you elevate your manifestations? That's what's happening in this season of your life right now. At the bottom of the deck, it says, open yourself to others. This is how you will create new friendships and attract a love relationship. So I definitely feel like Spirit is wanting you to get out of your comfort zone and really open yourself up to new people so that you can really truly like find out what it is that you're looking for in a relationship. Truly. Let's see, Spirit. What is the situation here with take a leap of faith? <clears throat> <laughs> blowing kisses definitely just like interchanging your energy uh not interchanging exchanging thank you spirit exchanging your energy with people and expecting nothing in return you know what i'm saying if anything just talking to people getting to know people and if an outdated belief system gets alerted or gets triggered that's okay confirmation that's okay flow with it something is like this transition is really about you going like if you can utilize that queen of swords um energy then it really will allow you to really see what it is that you need and don't need in your life like there's she just cuts away things that no longer serves her I don't really feel like that you're going to be in a, like you're going to be talking more to someone um, and, 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 and just this is someone that you're equally interested in. But this isn't to say that, yeah, but I don't see long term with them. I'm not necessarily sure that you're going to see long term with this person immediately because right now from what I see with just the two cards on the table plus the bottoms of the deck is that there's still some things that you're weeding out of yourself and there's still some things that this person is weeding out. Okay, <clears throat> something could be significant about a blue card <clears throat> like royal blue, cobalt, cobalt blue, cobalt blue. Let's see, Spurs. So what's going on inside of this um, blowing kisses? What's going on here? There's some controversy inside of this. There is some controversy inside of this. And, and it almost, it appears to be like there is someone lurking that is envious and jealous whether this be from you on your behalf or the new energies behalf there is something controversial about this there it does look like that there's a little bit of drama surrounding this situation here oh how dare i deny that how dare i deny that i wish the camera was showing the desk 
so that y'all could have seen the way that that fell out of the damn deck. But and it fell face down. I didn't know what it was. I feel like that there is this energy of mm, this is even if like I like y'all. I'm not here to refute anybody. I understand if you don't want to go back to the past. I understand that I'm not here to force you back into it. But I do feel like that this is the energy of resolving the issues. There's some controversy, some drama that result that requires resolving here, and um, it does require the truth. Like the truth will set someone free, but the truth is also painful. Here is what I feel. Those see arguments, yeah, um, argumentative, plan the victim, immature, twin flame here at the bottom of the deck. Um, I definitely feel like that some this is a cycle, and someone is sick and tired of the cycle. This is someone that's not been that has not been authentic with their e emotions here. Divine timing is at play here in this situation here. So. I do feel like that you're being encouraged to entertain new energies here. However, I also feel like that as you're in this season of intermingling and lifting your vibrations through exchanging energies with new people, I feel like that that is ultimately, like I said, I feel like that through exchanging energies with new people, getting outside of your comfort zone, there are some old outdated belief systems that are being triggered that is the card that is here at the bottom of the deck through talking to other people there is this energy of an outdated uh, belief system that is has people in this situation thinking like okay hold on maybe i could have maybe this was out of line okay maybe this was out of line there's energy like that and i feel like that i'm just gonna i don't have any tarot out here yet i'm about to th dive into the tarot i would not be surprised if i seen something that indicated a pregnancy i'm feeling nauseous in this um, reading and i have no reason to feel nauseous and your girl is celibate again so baby uh your girl ain't had none in a long 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 time so i'm definitely feeling pregnancy energy here for one reason or another just take that as it resonates i won't ignore it um, but, um, I definitely feel like that, that in a, meeting other people, new people is alerting this outdated belief system, this out. So you're able to gain a different perspective on p the past. And I feel like that this is also happening in this other person's situation with twin flame at the bottom of the deck, because with the twin flame, this is the energy of twin encounter you know what i'm saying like like mirrored encounters here so i do want to see just for a second show me how sagittarius is showing up here and then show me this external energy show me sagittarius first how is sagittarius showing up inside of this storyline how is my lovely sagittarian ninth house collective showing up inside of this storyline nine of cups Sagittarius is showing up the nine of cups so this is like this is I feel like that Sag is out here getting to like cheers like I'm out here having a good time getting to know new energies just like things are actually beginning to settle out for Sagittarius is the energy that I'm feeling yes wow can't make this shit up things are finally beginning <clears throat> to settle out and makes sense for Sagittarius. That's what I'm getting here. So let's see. How is this other person. How is this external energy showing up inside of this situation spirit? How is this external energy showing up inside of this situation? Thank you spirit. Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. Trying to. This person is trying to balance some things out. This person is like. This person could be, this person is evaluating some things. This person is evaluating some things. They're weighing some things out. Um, I'm be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. This person, I do feel like that is a twin encounter. So I feel like that what's going on in your life, this person is experiencing similar in their life. I feel like that most, like more than anybody, or it just could just be fresher to this person. 
but this external energy, their encounters with people are illuminating some outdated, like some of this person's tactics ain't working. You know what I'm saying? Like they're encountering new energy and it's like they all fizzle out at the same, for the same reason, at the same excuse, at the same rate. Something is fizzling. Okay, and um, I feel like that this person is starting to recognize this, and so this person is like juggling, like like this person may even be experiencing some sort of financial hardship or trying to get back on their, trying to get their shit back together. You know what I'm saying? They're definitely trying to manage the changes around them. Okay, um, but most importantly, this is this external energy is this. External energy is evaluating um, where can they plant. This is what they got. Where in their life is it worthy of investing it at? That's what I'm getting from here. I'm almost getting the energy of where can I put a little bit and get a little bit out. I mean, and get a lot out. That's what this like. We'll see what the intentions of that is in a minute, but that's what I'm getting from this. Um, all right, spirit. So show me the. Show me the energy of this, of Sagittarius and this external person, external energy. What is the energy of Sagittarius, what is the energy between Sagittarius and this external energy? What is the current energy between Sagittarius and this external person? This person betrayed you. That's like the energy between the two of you all right now is this ain't it. You know what I'm saying? That's why the challenge is the reconciliation. And remember, this is the card that wanted to be seen. I was only pulling three cards from this deck. The situation, the challenge, and what's, what needs to be addressed. Okay? The situation, the challenge, and what needs to be addressed in order to get through the challenge. And, and the challenge is the fact that there is a desire to resolve the issues. Resolving the issues is the challenge. How do you guys reconcile the differences? Well, is, I see why it's a challenge. Because there was a betrayal that has taken place inside of this situation. And at the at this point in the game, by golly, a motherfucker's going to have to step up and take accountability for this. And I feel like that the way that, Sag, like, you know what I'm saying? Because Sagittarius is out here churn, out here living their best life. Shit is starting to make sense. Baby, if... You ain't, it seems like that this external energy can't come back around and play the victim. You know what I'm saying? And so, and, and but with that same token, when this person approaches, I feel like that Sagittarius may jump into this argumentative type like energy because the situation is that there is some controversy, there's some drama, there's some can scandals around this shit. Some truths need to be spoken, and baby. You may not like the way that these truths are spoken, or they might not like the way that these truths are spoken, and so it may be this 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 dynamic between you and this person may be very argumentative. Okay, ego got the best of you all, pride and ego. Like you ain't gonna do me like this and think that da 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 da, da or you did you did this to me and da 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 da. There's definitely ego has been bruised here inside of this situation. And 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 honestly, to keep on standing like, yeah, the egos got bruised, but then trying to act like that the egos didn't get bruised is preventing is is actually proven to be more of a burden than anything here. Y'all, I know this is one of them storylines, but if y'all still rocking with your girl, I would absolutely appreciate it if you would smash that thumbs up button. It does help circulate these messages out into the YouTube algorithm. All right, Spirit, let's see. How can Sag, uh, like, so what action steps, what advice do we have for Sag? What is the action steps for Sagittarius here? What 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 are the action steps, if anything, can Sag do to get in alignment to resolving these issues? What if anything can Sagittarius do to get in a position? I got two cards, and I see the card split in the deck. It is face up. Okay, um, yeah, probably a lot of y'all already see it. Damn, what's that? We can really see it together. 
This is the Hermit and the Ace of Swords. Y'all know when I see the Ace of Swords, truth has been spoken. And what this is saying right here, the way that it's split like this, is that there is a need to gain some truth and clarity through some introspection. But I'm not going to hammer that message in too much. And there's also probably some truth and clarity that needs to be spoken as it pertains to some Virgo-like energy when it pertains to this connection. Now, for some of you all, this could be a Virgo that got in the midst of this you know what i'm saying there could have been a virgo that got in the middle of this if it wasn't a virgo that got in the middle of this then there could have also been like there could be like maybe if someone's got a virgo moon virgo venus their emotions there needs to be some clarity spoken around their emotions um you know, there's definitely a strong Virgo placement. If you got a Virgo rising sign, um, then there was something about this situation that bruised the way that you are perceived. You know what I'm saying? So that goes back to that ego issue. So there's a need to really reflect on the way that you see yourself and the way that you expect other people to see you. And by cleaning that up, then and only then can you make the logical, like make the head over heart decision. Okay. Now, there's a card that fell on the table face down, and it is challenging. It's crossing this Ten of Swords, and it's the High Priestess. So, baby, we just going to be honest. This is about being honest with yourself about your repressed emotions as it pertains to this situation. And for a lot of my Sagittarians, this definitely bruised your ego. Like, how dare you do this to me? Like, how dare you fucking do this to me? Out of everybody, you thought this is what I deserved? Like, I had someone in, like, I know someone that um, I tried to give a, an opportunity to. Um, someone I considered near and dear to my heart, right? Um, and, um, and it didn't, it just didn't work out right, okay? And it's like, when it all, when it was all said and done, for me, it's, it wasn't just a, um, a boyfriend girlfriend thing that didn't work out it was you was never really my friend the shit that you did to me when we was trying to be boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever you won't call it bullshit game whatever we was trying to be then the way you betrayed me you betrayed the friendship and that requires like like spirit is, is saying like dig deep into that don't just let it be because I, yeah, I tried it and you cost me and I don't want to do it again because yeah now nah, I just don't want to do it there's something deeper there and spirit needs you to become clear on that so that then you can begin to release and heal from this ten of swords so that the issues can be resolved okay let's see what is this what is the advice for this person to bird like to what does this person need to do and or like what action steps does this person need to take to right the wrong of this ten of swords I ain't going to be here too much longer, y'all. I keep getting drawn into a blue flower. I'm seeing a blue flower. Something is definitely significant with that royal deep co cobalt blue. Damn, I didn't even recognize what made me say that was the car. I seen a little car and it just stood out to me. Stood out to me. That drove by. But here I am wearing this blue dress and then this blue flower. There's definitely, and, and there's more than just blue flowers, but this blue flower, and there's only one of them, is standing out to me. I mean, there's orange flowers, red flowers, but there's blue flowers doing something. So there's definitely a conversation that needs to take place. Blue represents conversation, speaking, your throat chakra, um, your self-expression, and it also speaks about healing. Um you and this person, when you guys have a communication, nine times out of ten, one of you, like, there's loud talking, you know what I'm saying? There's definitely not really saying what you need to say inside of this situation. Um, there, there needs to be some communication here. Let's see, Spirit. Yeah, there's some emotions that have to be walked away from. What, uh, what action steps does this person need to take in order to bridge the gap and right the wrong of this Ten of Swords? The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So for some of you all, this person could have shortchanged you as it pertains to finances. The Nine of Wands. Um, 
Look, there's the blue flowers. This person has to own up to their shit. This, and honestly, this person needs to get stable. Like this person with the Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Wands here, it's almost like this person has to figure out what they want in the, like wh what does this person, here's what I want you to know. Comfort fucking mation. This person needs to figure out what they want. What is their, like, do they want to get, what does their long term look like? They, this other, this external energy doesn't know that. That's why they're in the Two of Pentacles. This person is also needing to get their money right. For some of you all, it just flat out boils down to the fact that this person's material world is not where they need it to be. And because of that, the divine will not allow them access to you the way that they would like to have access to you. Um, because with this person, with me, I said we didn't know, but we would figure out in a minute that I got the energy of this person being like, where can I put in a little bit and get a lot out? This person is needing to step out of the mindset of feeling like that in order to get back stable or to get stable, they got to do it with someone. This person is needing to figure out what their long term looks like and what role they will play in that. Because if I'm being honest to you, this particular Ten of Pentacles, this, it, it, they, at least what I'm getting in this energy, in this reading, it's like this person has established all of this and has invited this young lady and her father through, like, you know how the tradition, the father gives the daughter away. The way that I'm looking at this, it's like that the father and the daughter has walked up and the father has given the daughter to this man here. You know what I'm saying? And and, and she's she's being received into something stable and solid and long term. You know what I'm saying? This person has to cultivate that. Whereas this person's mentality is possibly trying to go places to cultivate that but still expecting this kind of relationship inside of that and I'm not sure that that's what the divine has intended for them if I'm being honest with you can I get one more card for this um, person of oh, this external energy Divine timing. Divine timing. Um, the, you know, this person is definitely trying to rush something. This the, this person is this person is trying to rush something, prevent something. They're trying to run from something. But in order to have wish fulfillment, in order to really have what it is that they want, they need to. They like they, they can't run from the encounters that are going to help them break down these outdated belief systems um so be honest with you if i'm being honest with you sag be honest with you whoever this is for you um i'll roll the dice whoever this is for you sag um i'm getting here that you are this person's wish fulfillment like you're like this person is trying is like thinking that it's a matter of time like when they think about their does this person know what they want for the long term right now? No. Do they have the ideal? Do, I have, do they have an ideal? Yes. And in that ideal, you're the perfect fit for it. That was a mic drop. It just got silent in my, pur in my, in my purse. Wow. It just got silent in my house. Um, maybe I was going to say person. Spirit said, no, not purse, person. You got silent in my person. I don't know. Just take that as it resonates. I have two Aquarius. I have a Leo and I have a Gemini. So you could be getting ready to reconcile with the, this, this is side note. Okay. This is side note or just take it as it resonates. You could get, be getting ready to resolve some sort of issues with the Leo. There could be some sort of drama that comes up with the Gemini and you could experience like this whole storyline can mainly be about an Aquarius, but just take it as it resonates. I also have Pisces and um, uh, the Jupiter is Pisces, uh, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, which is Jupiter energy. That is Sagittarius Pisces energy, okay? For me as a reader. So strong Pisces, 
Sagittarius, Strong Aquarius, Leo, and Gemini is here. All right, Spirit. So what can Sagittarius expect from this situation in the next seven days, Spirit? Well, let's just do it's. It's. Uh, I'm releasing this on a Venus day. Um, so let's just do the next four days out. What can Sag expect from this situation over the weekend? What can Sag expect from this situation over the weekend? <laughs> what can Sag express, expect, expect from this situation over the weekend? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I can't lie to you. Spirit said a little bit of stress. Um, but just understand, cleanse when, when stress arises, cleanse and detoxify from unnecessary commitments. Okay, so what you can exper expect from this situation in the next four days over the weekend is to is to have spirit continuously nudge you to cleanse and detoxify from this situation. Detoxify from the negative thoughts and unnecessary parts. You know what I'm saying? So like if this person or this situation creeps up in your mind and this was an energy that you had a ball with, if that if a good memory creeps up, that's okay to enjoy that. It's okay to experience that because it's that feeling that is going to allow you to manifest what it is you're looking for in the future, okay? But when the negative things arise, that's when, like, when you're in that moment and you're like, yeah, I'm fucking, I don't like that necklace. You know what? Just because I was having this memory and that memory brought a smile to my face, I'm going I'm to send a little bit more forgiveness to this knucklehead. For what they did do. For the betrayal that did take place. I can energetically send just a little bit more forgiveness that way. And I can forgive myself for being so upset to the point that I forgot that this was something good that took place out of it. And even if I can't have it from this person, I want, I do want something like this in my new experience. Okay. Retreat. I definitely feel like that you're going to be, Spirit has you in the energy of meeting new people. Meeting, get, get out of your space. Encounter new energies. Clear. And when things get triggered, just let that shit fall. Put it in the work. This over the next week, over the weekend, as it pertains to this situation, I feel like the my which my Sagittarius can expect is putting in the work. Wow, damn it, Daniel. Let me show you what's at the bottom of the deck. Put in this work over the weekend because what you can expect. I was getting ready to say seven days, and Spirit was like, just do the weekend because if I'd have told you seven days. If I'd have told you the seven day outcome, then you might not have been able to put the work in over this weekend. But if you put the work in over the weekend, put in the work, actions that help achieve goals, goals, building the path to success. That's what you can expect this weekend. That's what spirit needs you to focus on as it pertains to this energy this weekend. Put in that work internally. Okay. I ain't going to dive down and break down the whole message again, but we understand what putting in the work is, right? I feel like that within the next seven days or so, give or take a few, depending on where you at in the timeline, guess what that brings in? My goodness. My goodness. Oh my God. Yeah, this is six cards back and this is beautiful. Let me show you these three first. The apology, celebration, and resolving issues. And then next, the next three is awakening, acceptance, and success. And then I pull four. What's this? Confessions. These are my confessions. So there's a successful confession of repressed emotions. And then I got self-awareness. I ain't going to keep going back. And I'm getting head chills off of that. So I do feel like that Sagittarius, if you allow yourself to just vibrate higher, get to get inside of other energies, speak to other energies. Don't be so closed off. Don't just sit there in a closed mindset and think that you have it all figured out and that it's just it this is just the way that it is open yourself up lift yourself up the the issue will begin to resolve it's look what this look what this uh resolving issue says solving inner conflict with others healing past trauma that's what's coming in okay give or take the next seven to ten days is what i'm gonna say but 
This is a beautiful reading, my love. Let me get you one of these and then we out of here. I hope that you all have enjoyed this message. If you have, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Get this out to somebody else that needs it. Thank you, Spirit. So we have a sculpture of self. Shape the culture the shape the sculpture of self. Honoring the perpetual acts of forming and expressing identity. You are ever changing. You are ever changing and that's okay, but you can't sculpt your true self without being honest with yourself about any of your repressed, like you have to be honest about your repressed emotions, at least with yourself. You cannot expect honesty out of everybody, <laughs> but you can damn sure expect it out of yourself. Let's, look, let's, let's get one of these to close this out. Envy. Damn, and we see like there's somebody externally to this situation that does have some envy. Now, for this to come out in the lesson, I'm speaking to a Sagittarius that may be able to relate to that external energy that is envying what you got, what you get where you have going on. So maybe this is going into it and preparing that, you know, I am the same as everybody else, but with different challenges and the same as and, and everybody else is the same as me. They just have different challenges, right? That's what this card is wanting. This like doubt. I release the need to know all, all the answers. So I love you. I hope that this message offered you some guidance on your journey. Peace, love, and light. Don't forget, today and tomorrow is the last day to use Rise 420 um, to receive to you buy a, a Zoom session. You get a free mini read. So if you would like to participate in that, definitely head over to the website. Peace, love, and light, guys.